You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for supporting the channel and watching my videos and leaving me comments. It really means a lot to me. This is for ages five and up. Baskin Robbins 31 Flavors Ice Cream Cake Maker. Let's see, make delicious Baskin Robbins ice cream cakes at home. Now I'm not too sure about how this works yet. You see they have all kinds of decorations. I'm not sure if all of those come with it, but we'll find out. Makes, uh, uses real Baskin Robbins mixes inside. Now there is a side panel here. Make delicious Baskin Robbins ice cream cakes at home. All right, well, we'll see. We're at home and we'll see if it really works by whammo. All right, there is the nutritional facts. And then, probably not much. Oh, there is something on the bottom. Oh, look at that. Now we have a problem. The problem is I don't own that and I don't own that. So it looks like I need to do some research and find those sets so that I can complete this little series of makers. And then this does list everything. I don't see, it says two chocolate cookie crumb pack. Oh, that's the chocolate they show in the front. Two delicious Baskin Robbins ice cream mixes. Okay, vanilla and strawberry. Two sprinkle packets, chocolate and rainbow. Okay, so there's a bunch there. And then one tube of pink frosting plus all these other things. The Baskin Robbins ice cream cake maker includes everything you need to make a real ice cream cake. And now the most important thing in the back gives you some pictures there. One big picture of the kids uh, actually spinning. It looks like you're spinning the handle there. Simple to make, easy cleanup, additional Baskin Robbins ice cream cake mix is sold separately. And then step one, spin for 10 minutes and set for 10 minutes. Oh, so you're not really freezing it. Two, remove ice cream from, uh, from cake pan, or maybe you are, I don't know. Make your chocolate cookie crust and set ice cream on top. Decorate and enjoy. All right, so let's do this. I will come back now and uh, we'll check out all of the pieces. Okay, let's see what we have. All right, so there is one tube of pink frosting and one, two, three, four tips. That's actually a nice big tube to get in the set. And then all of the mixes, okay. Little cardboard insert, let's see, let's see, let's see. Exciting, exciting, exciting. And then here's the actual maker. Looks pretty cool. That is pink. I don't know if age has done it any justice, but the pink on this is much pinker than the pink on that. All right, that, 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 and the instructions. Okay, I want to look inside. I'm intrigued by what this thing does. All right. So they have an ice cream maker and an ice cream cake maker. Oh, I see. So you're probably going to put salt around that and some cubes, and then it's gonna freeze in there, maybe into a shape. What do you think? I don't know. I'm totally intrigued. All right. Well, you know, after this, I'll get it all out of the packaging, but I do need to wash it all. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. Another spinning crank with a little arrow on it telling you the direction it's going. It's kind of funny, I remember, oh, I think it was the McDonald's milkshake maker or something. And I just spun it forever. And even till this day, I still get comments. You sure spent a lot of time spinning that. Yes, I know. Thanks for telling me. Okay, so that's that. This is the, is this the lifter? What was this? I don't remember what that was. That is the cookie crumb mold. Ice cream cake lifter. Is that inside? Must have been. I didn't look inside. Oh, what's that? Does this come off? There it is. There it is. So when it's in there, then you're going to take this and pull the whole thing out with the ice cream on it. All right. So I'm making ice cream, but different than any other makers we have ever really seen. Hmm. Intriguing. Very intriguing. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's all out of date, so that I know. That I realize. Okay, so chocolate sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles, cookie crumbs, cookie crumbs, strawberry, and silly vanilla. Okay. All right, well. 
I'll give you a quick look now at this. I may never show it to you again. I don't know. If you have this and no instructions, I wonder if there's an at-home recipe you can use or make any ice cream. I don't know. That's cool. That gives you the different designs on the tips. There's all the parts. Dear parents, the Baskin Robbins ice cream cake maker was designed with kids in mind. Now your children can make delicious in ice cream cakes right at home. We hope you and your children will have lots of fun together making ice cream treats with the Baskin Robbins ice cream cake maker. The year. Hmm, I never said it. Did someone catch it? No. Where is it at? Oh, I don't like when they do this. Oh, wait. It is way about 2001. So it's a good 19 years old or so. All right, you've seen it. I've seen it. Let me watch everything come back. Get a little more familiar with the system here and then we'll make an ice cream cake. I will be back. Okay, just drying some things up. Now I've got everything but the ice cubes because I'm not officially ready. Everything is dried and ready. Couple things, one, it gives you what you will need from the box, and then here's everything you need from your kitchen. So it's quite a few items, including mixing bowls, which I have plenty of those, spoons, half and half, water, salt, and then ice cubes. And this is how you clean it, and then let's get started. Please read all instructions before you, wa before you wash. So I did that already. Here's some helpful hints, which I don't need right now. And it says, in a bowl from your kitchen, add the contents of Baskin I Robbins ice cream cake mix with a third cup of half and half. Stir well with a whisk. Whisk. I didn't even see that on the list. There is not even on the list. All right, so make sure you have a whisk. And then do these steps, get it in there, and then you're going to get the salt ice and water mixture ready. So that's kind of where I'm at. I got this ready. Oh, by the way, my Silly Vanilli. This mix, or this powder, is bad. It's very crispy. This one, you can tell, it's just ready to go. So I'm gonna make that one. This one I'm gonna have to forego, but I might wanna look at the powder itself. All right, so what I need, well, I'll tell you what, now that we've gone through all of that, I'm set. Move some things out of the way. We will start with the Strawberry Sensation Ice Cream. Okay, so in a bowl from your kitchen. Oh, the whisk. Uh, the only whisk I had handy was my little tiny whisk, so I'm going to use that. Okay, before, okay, do, 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 cake mix. So Baskin Robbins Ice Cream Cake Mix. So this is Strawberry Ice Cream. This unit not labeled for retail sale. Here's the instructions. Holy cow. It looks like they repeat the entire process on the back of the bag. I guess if you don't have the instructions, you can do it by that way. Or just watch this video. Okay, smell? Hmm, like fresh strawberries right out of the strawberry patch. Nah, just kidding. But it smells okay. Alright, then... A third of a cup. Okay, third of a cup, third of a cup. Half and half. Let us measure. Beautiful. Mix in and whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. All right, here we go. Let's whisk. I just like the word whisk. Okay, whisking. It's such a tiny amount, isn't it? Oh, pretty. Pretty pink. Okay, does it give it time, like whisk, until dry mix is completely dissolved? Okay. Pour the mixture into the aluminum cake pan with the lifter in place. Okay, I got the lifter in. I think we're pretty good. It doesn't say to do anything with any kind of cooking spray or anything to kind of pull it out, pull it out easier later. Maybe it's just the way it's designed. You heat up the outside. All right, here we go. So there is, ooh, there's a little bit on the side. I'm glad I saw it. Okay. That is up to step four. Cover the cake pan, snapping the lid in place. Okay. 
I think that's all I need to do. Yeah. Do that. Snack that in place. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. So that's there. Now this is the next step. Let's see. It says fill. Okay. What did it say? Okay. Here. With the agitator in the bowl, fill it with ice to the lowest fill line. There's three lines in there. This actually looks like a nice dog bowl, doesn't it? I don't know the way it's designed, but there's three lines in there. One, two, three. So let's see what that's all about. So fill with ice. Now you don't put the whatchamacallit in, so it's going to get in the way, I guess. So it's really not that much, it just sits at the bottom. It said smaller cubes and crushed ice works best. Okay, let's just test it and see. Okay, yeah, so it just sits in there. Alright, in a separate bowl, mix one cup of salt. That's a lot of salt. One cup of salt. All right. Oh. Some tape on it. Now a lot of people don't have ice ice cream salt, so it's not something they would keep around. But I made it so many made ice cream so many times that you would think they would make a better pour spout on the box, right? Well, let's do this. Maybe it's easier just to open it. One of those things when making a video, you know, you don't expect that the actual box. There we go. Ooh, that's better. Now watch, it's all going to dump out on the tabletop. Oh, how great. Okay. And then three quarter uh, cup of cold water, got it, stir well. And then pour mixture into the ice. Pour that down. Good stuff. Okay, Okay, I might be able to fit a few more cubes on the outside. All right, place the aluminum cake pan with the lid in the agitator and fill the rest of the space in the bowl with ice. So this has these little notches. Do you see the little notches? They fit right in there. The rest of the space with ice. Okay. I had a feeling it was going to fit in more. Oh, so now I see this is going to be spinning in here like this. Ooh, that's going to be cool. That's going to be cool. And it's such a neat design. It looks like an ice cream cake. Okay, good. Feel good about that. All right. Place a little cake in as you even Continue to fill until the ice reaches the top. Fill line, got it. Cover the bowl with the bowl lid. See how cool that is? Okay, nice and snug as a bug. Cover the bowl with the bowl lid, insert the crank handle, and then gently turn the crank clockwise continuously for 10 minutes. All right, I'm going to get my timer and I'll record some of it. I might record the whole thing, but I'm not going to use all 10 minutes, so I will be back. Here we go. All right, 10 minutes it is. Here we go. Let's just read on while I have time here. After 10 minutes of turning, leave the toy as is. And let the cake pan sit in the water for another 10 minutes. While you're waiting for ice cream to make to freeze, make your ice cream cookie crust with the cookie crumbs included. See cookie crust missing instructions. Okay. All right, so it's a 20 minute process for my Ice cream cake, so there's a little arrow on there pointing in the right direction. Well, it's actually pointing in both directions. That's funny. All right, so someone tell me now. Oh, let's give a little funny word. What's our little funny word for the day hmm, in this video? It's been a while since I've done that. Funny word for this video is... Let's do fuzzy. 
If you're watching and got to this point, remember the word fuzzy. Well, funny enough, I've got like four ice cream makers sitting there, so I might just do an ice cream maker marathon of my last toy maker ice cream sets. And there's an oven or two up there. What am I looking at? A uh, bunch of crazy Aaron's putty I never did. Some Dr. Griffle sets. Bunch of games. Tons of cool games. We'll see how it goes. Alright, that is... Uh, I started it and then I talked for a little bit. So we're actually at about two minutes now. A little over two minutes. So what's your favorite Baskin Robbins flavor then? Ooh, that's a good one. I think I go with the chocolate peanut butter. I like anything that's got chocolate in it. Reese's peanut butter cups in it. It's like a moose tracks. It's got all little extra bits and pieces. I like mint ice cream. Not my favorite, but I like it. I don't like the really sweet, like the rainbow ice creams. Uh, with a lot of color. What do you like? Let me know in the comments. Remember the first word. Oh, let me see about the crust. While you're waiting for ice cream, make the crust. Cookie crust instructions. In a bowl from your kitchen, add the contents of one package of cookie crumbs and one and a half teaspoons of half and half. Stir until well combined. Five minutes. Please make cookie crumble mold on the serving plate. Oh, that's what this was. That's my my mold, that's my shape. Remember that? Okay, okay, I get it now. Uh, my arm is getting a little tired because it's outstretched. I where I have this placed on my table. I have 4 minutes 45 seconds left. <laughs> so I did tell you I was going through my inventory, which I'm still doing, and it's actually quite... Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? It kind of invigorating, but kind of uh, gets me kind of like excited when I find things that I've wanted to show you for years that maybe have been around for years, and I say, oh, I totally forgot about that. So it reignites my inner toy video making. How's that so? I found another snow cone machine, a princess, Disney princess snow cone machine. Found that. Uh, yeah, I got that. Uh, the Crazy Art ice cream maker, the Big Top ice cream maker, the Discovery Kids ice cream maker.
Uh, there's really not much resistance. I feel... You feel all the stuff in there, but it's not hard to turn. It's not getting harder. And I say that, and all of a sudden, did you hear? It's got crispy in there. Then I also been finding things that I made videos of way back, and I just try to I kind of remember what was in the video, if anything happened in the video, the item. Cool that I still have it after nine or ten years. So a lot of reminiscing too. I'll tell you what, if I can get this inventory all organized, I will show you for the first time how it's all organized and all the racks so you can understand. Two minutes. And counting, my arm is sore. As soon as this is done, then I'm going to go into crumb making for my crust. and a half approximately Six seconds. Well, whoever lasted this long, they get another special word. The special word is spider web. I don't know why, because I'm looking at one right now. Maybe. 20 seconds. Alright, so I'm going to come back now and start making the crust. As soon as you hear my timer, you'll know. And I'll be right back. 10 seconds. Pretty exciting. There we go. All right, here we go. So let's see, in a bowl from your kitchen, add the contents of one package of cookie crumbs. It appears to be okay, smells. Uh, this one smells slightly piney. It's got that vintage smell to it. Hard to explain. Maybe go in your pantry and see what's the oldest thing there. Maybe that, that'll that explain. Okay, one and a half teaspoons. Oh, I almost did a full teaspoon. There's a quarter teaspoon, one teaspoon. I'll tell you what, though, I'm gonna do it over this in case I spill. One and a half teaspoons of half and a half. One. And a half. Ooh, I caught it. Mix well. Stir until well combined. It doesn't seem to melt it, but it's kind of making like a sticky combination. 
Let's see, yes. Ooh, the smell, not good. Okay, I think that's pretty well combined. All right, so now that's well combined. Pour the crumbs into the cookie crumb mold. Ooh, what happened there? It shows the little tabs going up. Okay. It almost looks like caviar, doesn't it? I don't think I've ever had caviar. Not something that interests me. And smooth with the back of the spoon. I could have used that, but... What is that? Piece of plastic. Get out of there. Where did that come from? To, a, to form a flat round crust. Let crust set in the ring for five seconds. What? Okay, that's five seconds, I guess. What a, what a strange time. Okay. Rotate the cookie crumb mold slightly. And then release from the mold. Whew. You missed half of that, but how's that? Here, I'll show you again, just because it was so cool. Here's what I did. After I was done doing all of this, I waited five seconds. Retake. I twisted. And I lifted. There you go. Twist and lift. Okay. Now I still have five minutes, so I will come back. And let's see. Mm -hmm. Crust is ready for the ice cream cake. Place plate and cookie crust into a freezer. Place plate and cookie crust into a freezer until the ice cream cake is ready. Okay. It did say before removing the ice cream from the cake pan, place the tube of icing in a glass of warm water for one minute prior to decorating. That has been accomplished. Okay. Feels nice and ready to go. Let's get the Happiness Hotel. One way Happiness Hotel. I uh, finally got my collection of glasses unpacked, so it's kind of nice. All right, we'll do these in a second. I want to get to this. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do them now while it's still chilling, right? This is the Rainbow Sprinkles. Rainbow Sprinkles. I'm sorry about the camera placement on that last uh, scene. It really bugs me when I mess up like that, but hopefully you saw some of what I was doing there. This is the Chocolate Sprinkles. Nice. It smells okay. This is the Silly Vanilli. Let's just, for fun, take a look at what we got for Silly Vanilli. Now, being a vanilla mix, it is all crumbly. Now that doesn't look like a good mix, does it? So that, I mean, it smells okay. It actually smells better than the last one. Okay, that there, that there. We're gonna be do some flipping here and let's get this out. Now it did say warm water under the faucet. Now I can't easily get to a faucet, so we're gonna have to modify based on what I got here. take this out. They want the whole thing out. They want you to run that whole thing under a faucet. So let's just take a look at it. Let me get another little shallow bowl here. I thought I was ready, but I forgot my shallow bowl. I just kind of kind of tap it in some warm water in case it doesn't come out very easy. Okay. So here we go. So the directions say, uh, what will melt immediately under water. Okay, ice may stick to the outside of the pan, but will melt immediately under water. After rinsing, remove cake 
from Agitator. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I can go do that. I can rinse this. I think they want the salt off of that, and I'll be right back. All right. I did some countertop cleaning. I uh, still had a lot of water on the countertop. Let me get this one out of the way. We don't really... Well, I don't know. We'll see. I might have to set it in there. Rinsed and ready. Let's see. Take that off of that. That piece is done. Now, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Can you see? Ooh, there you go. So now, let's see. By holding the side hooks of the cake fill lifter, try to shift and rotate the cake. All right, so remove lid from cake pan. Did that. So you kind of need to, let's just see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Slides right there. Okay, I'm not getting a good good lift. Hmm. So when you lift, then you got to flip it over on this. Let's see. There we go. Oh, this is going to be a challenge. Flip. There we go. Oh, there we go. It did it. I wonder if I should just stick this in the freezer for another minute before I... Yeah, let me do that. I'm not done. Remember I had the icing set to go. I got my sprinkles ready. I think I want to let that freeze just a little bit more. It seems a little soft on the top. So I'll be back. Ooh, look at that. It's working. I'll be back. Okay, that looks better now. I just wanted it a little less wet on the top because the sprinkles would probably be affected by it. All right, now remember that little different tip guide. Okay, it's a tip for the tips. <laughs> I think I like the star. So, that's this one. I just want to like squish little stars all the way around. I might do a squiggly too. Well, let's do a squiggly first. I'm not uh, the best at this, but I have my moments, let me tell you. Alright, so it's a sealed tip. So, I could say that this is probably still pretty good being sealed for so many years. Now, you probably could just get your own ice cream mix and use a set like this if you want to make ice cream with it. That's not an easy tip to take out, let me tell you. There we go. I want to make sure there's enough room for the stuff to come out. The stuff. Oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you what, it needs to be warmed up a little bit more. It's been sitting for a few. So while that's Warming up in there. Okay. Let's set that there, set that there. For the decorating, they don't really give you the crust in order for the ice cream cake. Place plate on cookie crust into a freezer until the ice cream cake is ready. Did all that. So I think that's it. Decorate with icing and desired topping. Slice and enjoy. All right, let me get that softened up and then I will. I thought I was ready. Let me put the cap back on. This is warm water in here still. And then I'll just work it in my hands. Okay, so I officially don't need this anymore. And then well, I'll put the box over here so I got a visual. All right. Let's try it now. coming out it's just not soft enough so let me heat up the water a little bit more I guess that's all part of it and I will okay I let it sit for a good five minutes now in the hot water two minutes probably just wasn't enough oh it definitely seems mushy now now watch it's too mushy right okay so what did I want to do first I'll tell you what let me do some little flowerettes on the side there let me grab a little plate like a test plate. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it's a little thick. Let's see what we could do. I'll just put some around here and see if we can push out enough. Or 
I think I'm going to cut some of the tip off. How's that? Maybe that's the ticket. There, there we go. Well, it's not easy, I will tell you that. After all that time sitting for how many years, it's finally being used. Ooh, my cake is melting. I might not be able to get through this. Warm water. Let me get a little paper towel. It's better though. But look, it just started to melt just like that. While it was sitting. That's a little better. I know I can't stop it, so I must continue on. Work quickly, work quickly. Yeah, well, that tip's not going to work, so let's just switch. Let's try this one. Maybe it'll come out better. I mean, look how soft it is. It just... Oh, let's do that. Improvise. Create a valley around a cake. A wall. Oh, there we go. Oh, how beautiful is that? Okay. It's, it's doable. Let's get some of that out of there. There. Okay. There's the pretty side. I won't be able to do any anything fancy because one, I don't know what I'm doing. And two, well, let's just put a nice big lump. Here, it's a bow. There, I made a bow. Hmm. Okay. Some chocolate sprinkles. I'm gonna do a half and half. Half that side. And half this side. Okay, well, besides the little struggle with the frosting, which can be expected from frosting that's so old, I guess. There is my final cake. Let me grab my little spatula. Well, here, I'll take a quick picture. So I got it for maybe the thumbnail. A little spatula and one of my little knives. We'll cut into it. I'll give you a nice close-up. One stray little nugget. Well, I'm gonna say overall, it worked fine. How about one more side picture? That looks good. All right, here we go. Cut here. We'll cut half with that. Half with that. Oh, perfect. I have a plate here. Ready to go. Ready to receive my cake. Look at that. Now, come on. You're having a party. And you get a beautiful piece like that. You're going to enjoy it, right? Let me just grab my fork. All right. Now, that's a good question. Do you use a fork or do you use a spoon for your ice cream cake? Okay. Not unpleasant at all. Actually, it tastes quite good. But I would not recommend you trying that. All right, the last word, the last word is, hmm, sprinkles. How's that? Sprinkles. All right, there you go. I would say overall, it was a success. A couple little 
twist in the road, but other than that, it worked. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it for you. Look forward to more because I'm gonna keep going. And thanks for watching everybody. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.